Hello everyone and welcome to this live video chat organized by Ferrandi Paris to answer all the questions you have about the new advanced professional program in pastry or cuisine. We are glad to welcome Stéphane Jakic, chef instructor in cuisine, and Adrienne Burton, manager international programs Ferrandi Paris. Hello to both of you. A little word maybe to introduce yourself before we start answering the questions. Adrienne? Okay. Uh, good morning. My name is Adrian Burton. I am head of international programs at Ferrandi Paris. Uh, I've been working at Ferrandi for about 10 years. Uh, we welcome students from across the world to study French gastronomy, uh, pastry, cooking, bread baking. Uh, and it's my pleasure to be with you today to talk about our new advanced programs. Okay. Hello everybody, my name is Stefan Jakic. I'm a chef uh, instructor at Ferrandi since uh, 15 years. Um, I have a background of uh, Michelin star restaurant, Rolet Chateau, and I'm in charge also of uh, running the program of uh, international um, cooking, um, master class, and also different also mission over the world for the school. Glad to be there with you today. Okay, so if you both are ready, we can start with the first question. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it will be a question by when. Do you have a pastry course for beginners? Okay, uh, yes we do. Uh, the advanced professional programs are obviously addressed to an experienced, uh, experienced individuals. Uh, but we do have uh, what we call intensive professional programs for beginners. Mm -hmm. uh, these are five month training programs that focus on the basic skills and techniques that you need to master French cuisine, French pastry, or French bread baking. Uh, so these programs again last five months and they are followed by an optional three month internship. Um, and obviously the idea of adding uh, our new advanced professional programs is to provide an opportunity for uh, students to further uh, their gastronomy studies uh, at Ferrandi. Anything to add? No, no? it's perfect. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next question is going to be a question from uh, by Jiga. Can you please give me the program content in pastry? Yes. Uh, in pastry, we will be covering many different aspects uh, of French pastry. We've divided uh, the content into what we refer to as boutique products and what we refer to as party or uh, festive products. Uh, so the program will cover plated desserts, it will cover chocolate, it will cover modern viennoiserie, croissant par au chocolat, but in a more uh, trendy and modern form. Uh, trendy entremets, uh, petit four, wedding cakes, uh, sugar decorations. Uh, so it's a pretty complete uh, program that covers many different aspects of uh, French pastry, modern contemporary pastry, uh, and where students will also uh, uh, draw on their creativity uh, and the ideas to uh, help them to develop their own uh, style and um, and induce them to be a bit more creative with their with their productions. Okay, so now Jenny ninety eight want to know what is the length of the program? The advanced professional programs last eight weeks, mm -hmm. uh, very intensive eight weeks. Um, and can be followed by an optional two-month internship with a French company. Okay. Now a question by Ducasse. We don't know if it's a real one or not. <laughs> How many chefs will teach me in the different courses? Uh, in ki kitchen, for example, I think it um, will be about uh, seven to ten different teachers. Ferrandi teacher plus uh, at the end of each uh, model. Uh, Michelin star chef or Meilleur Ouvrier de France to complete the, the model of uh, different uh, items. Okay. Yeah, the idea again is to expose uh, the students to different uh, techniques, different styles uh, and different chefs, what mm -hmm. we call sensibilities. Uh. Mm -hmm. Okay, could you please give us examples of internship placements restaurants? Question by Ferrando. Well, I think uh, we talk about um, Michelin star restaurant, but mm -hmm. also a trendy uh, restaurant, um, not, a sp not especially um, rated in Michelin star restaurant, but uh, Ferrandi have a strong uh, partnership with uh, French chefs. So it's we get used to, 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 sh to, to send um, 
uh, students in internship. So we have a good relationship with the chef to find the place where the student will uh, be able and like to go after this uh, eight month, eight uh, weeks program. Sorry. Yeah, we try to fit the internship mm -hmm. with the students' professional uh, project, what their interest is. Uh, so as Stefan just said, we do have opportunities in a wide range of, of businesses. This concerns pastry also, uh, hotels, restaurants, uh, mm -hmm. pastry boutiques, uh, from three-star Michelin to uh, more smaller concepts, mm -hmm. fast food, etc. Yeah. It really depends on what the student uh, what the students' field of interest is. And what they want to do in the future yeah. after these courses also. Because what makes what's important is what they're going to feed them mm -hmm. uh, at the end. Mm. Okay. And how many participants should I expect in my group? Paula okay, is well asking. One of the uh, characteristics of Ferrandi's training programs uh, is that we work in small groups. Mm -hmm. uh, so in... Uh, W one group will have between 12 and 14 participants maximum. Okay. Uh, the idea being that there be a high level of interaction between the students and the chefs and uh, individual guidance uh, for each, each student. So not too many people? No. Okay, Mac Mick wants to know if he has three years experience in Western cuisine. Is he eligible for this program? Yes, uh, the idea behind these programs is that students come in uh, with a good foundation of knowledge of French culinary technique um, because the program is going to go, go very quickly mm -hmm. uh, and we're not going to focus on re-covering uh, the basics. Um, so we will individually uh, measure each student's uh, capabilities by w an through an exchange uh, with them during the interview just to make sure that the basics are mastered uh, and that the, that the person will be capable of uh, following a pretty fast-paced mm -hmm. advanced program. What does it mean by Western cuisine? Western cuisine as opposed to uh, well, other cuisines who mm -hmm. have different... Western cuisine we mean uh, cuisines that are that use uh, French gastronomy technique. Okay. Uh, so we're talking about knife cuts, we're talking mm -hmm. about stocks, uh, and general cooking um, techniques that are used in Western cuisine as opposed to some Asian cuisines who might or use European. different... Yeah. European. 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 Yeah, European. Okay, Kiki, a question is what should I expect in terms of job position after the program? That's not an easy question to mm -hmm. answer. Uh, obviously, uh, as these programs uh, address people who already have some experience, the hope is that after the advanced professional program, they will be eligible for higher positions. Um, uh, the background at the beginning also. Mm. Uh, after, um, it's also very influenced by the country that you come from. Yeah, of course, your experience, your age. Mm. Um, but yeah. uh, minimum, I think we can expect to be, a, I'd like to say, chef de party in kitchen. Mm. Well, in I'm smaller structures, maybe. Or junior second. sous chef, yeah. if you yeah. have a stronger experience. but. Uh, or in between these two positions, I would say. Okay. My last formal diploma is from 20 years ago. It was in graphic design. Is it still necessary to include the grade transcripts? Question by CJ. We can be a little bit flexible on that. Uh, okay. What we really want to see for the advanced professional programs is uh, culinary experience. Mm -hmm. uh, so, a and training. Uh, so, um, you know, if your culinary experience is strong, we're not going to uh, be, uh, uh, no, we're not going to stick to the transcript yeah. requirement. So you can be not too demanding. We can be flexible. <laughs> sometimes. Yes. Okay. A question by uh, Leonard698. What are the requirements for admission? Okay, the minimum requirements for admission uh, are uh, culinary training, some form of culinary training, and or uh, at least two years of experience in Western cuisine, in a professional setting. Uh, we do require fluent English. Um, and then what we look at, uh, because th those are the minimum requirements to be eligible to apply, uh, but then we're going to look very closely at the students, uh, at the candidates' uh, experience, uh, in what type of restaurant, their recommendations. We do uh, request two professional rec recommendations from the culinary field. Uh, and we are also going to focus very much on the candidate's mm. career plan. 
uh, and why they're choosing to do this program and why they're choosing for Andy uh, and France uh, for this experience. Okay, a second question by uh, CJ. Rebonjour. I have worked almost 10 years as a private chef. Am I still eligible to apply for the culinary course? Thank you. Sure. Uh, again, uh, as long as the foundations of French or Western uh, gastronomy are, are pretty much mastered, mm -hmm. uh, we will be open to applications from people with uh, maybe non-traditional okay. culinary experience. Or After, you never over-experience it anyway, mm -hmm. because you're going to learn new techniques, mm -hmm. new trends, a uh, new way of plating. So anyway, it's, a, it's an opportunity, even with a strong experience, to to apply to this mm -hmm. uh, program, I would say. So she can apply anyway. OK. A question by Tim Cook. How many international students do you have? Overall at Ferrandi? Uh, I think so. Oh, yes. Yeah. We have uh, approximately 300 students per year who come through our intensive professional programs and also our training weeks, uh, short programs for professionals. Uh, that's basically the out of a student body on the Paris campus of about 1,500 students. We also have some international students in our bachelor program uh, and in our master's programs. Um, so basically yeah, about 300 Stranded. students per year. Mm. OK. What will be the content of the reinterpretation module? Question by Mayo. So the idea, I think it's a question for me. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the idea is going to be, to be a take, uh, to take um, a classical modern uh, classical uh, receipts or sorry mm -hmm. um, will be interpreted by a uh, meilleur ouvrier de France to show you the classic one then he will show you his own version of modern one and then the student will have two days to work uh, on their own version to to make their, um, their new version of the uh, classic uh, okay. recipe such as what? Why Blanquette it's a work de Beau, example, uh, exactly. Blanquette okay. de Beau, it's, it's going to be a workshop, a good con um, interaction between the student and the, mm, the teacher will be there, will be a guest chef. So okay. this is the idea of the, the items. Is there a dish that you reinterpret? Uh, no, I don't know yet. We, do <laughs> we didn't have to choose yet the, the dish that we're going to reinterpret. It's going to be a surprise otherwise okay. if we give too much in the... Uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah, but the idea is to let the students play yes. with, uh, yeah. with a traditional French recipe and see what comes out of it with their experience, with their culture, with... Uh, if they come sure. to the program already with their uh, recipe in mind, they know the, mm. <laughs> the process is not... And a question by Guesty, what's the price and what does it include? Okay, the price for the program is 13,750 euros. Uh, it includes uh, everything that you need uh, for the training, toolkit, uniforms, uh, there and course materials. There are the no materials yeah, yeah. There's no extra expenses related to the program. Mm -hmm. uh, what it doesn't include uh, is obviously accommodations in Paris and personal expenses. Okay. Without name, it's uh, the pseudo. Could you give me a successful alumni story? Oh, we have many uh, in France. If you had to choose one. If I had to choose one, that's a hard or one. Or maybe two or three, <laughs> what did you <laughs> say? Um, in terms of our international uh, students, we have, uh, we're we have three uh, chefs who came through our program who have Michelin stars, mm -hmm. uh, one, two in the United States and one in uh, France, actually. Uh, I think maybe, depending on where you're from, the most famous might be Michael Anthony, uh, of the Gramercy Tavern in New York. Um, we also have a Taiwanese uh, female chef mm -hmm. who was awarded uh, Best Female Chef in 2014 for Asia. Um, we have uh, one of our former students from Chile who has a, uh, who is placed 24 on the world's best Latin America, the 50 world's mm -hmm. best Latin America. Um, we have several, of course, Michelin star chefs in France. Uh, Arnaud Donquele, who is uh, a three-star Michelin chef, and many, many others. William Le Deuil from uh, The Kitchen Gallery. Mm -hmm. uh, Adeline Grattard from Yam Cha, uh, very trendy restaurants. Bertrand Gribault, uh, Septime. Mm -hmm. um, so we have several 
uh, students who have opened successful businesses around the world. India is very trendy for pastry right now. Um, Taiwan, uh, several successful pastry and uh, cooking uh, businesses. So uh, we can obviously give you a lot of other examples, but um, uh, those would be that yes. <laughs> Okay, a question by J5438. Uh, Why should I choose Ferrandi? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> well, if uh, your goal, um, I think Ferrandi, uh, with its 100 year history, uh, is very well ingrained in the French mm -hmm. gastronomy culture. Um, we've been training, again, chefs for over 100 years. Um, and I think that what makes Ferrandi unique uh, is a couple of things, but the main one I would say is our focus on hands-on learning. Uh, all of our programs are very in kitchen or lab intense, um, and so students get to practice uh, individually uh, every day in the lab with their chefs uh, to master uh, the, the skills. And that's, I would venture to say, um, what kind of characterizes for Andy. We're also a professional school, which means that we have labs that are, uh, that are equipped with professional equipment. Um, and the idea is also to teach students what, what it means to work in a, in a professional setting. Um, for the advanced programs, obviously, we're going to have people coming in who already have that experience. But um, yeah, I think what most characterizes our programs mm -hmm. is the hands-on uh, and exposure to different chefs. Uh. Mm. Okay. And uh, Pink wants to know whether the program is only based on French gastronomy. Well, that's a good question, uh, because what does French gastronomy mean today? Mm. <laughs> um, I think it would be say, well, maybe more yeah. precise yeah. to say the that it's based... Techniques will be French, for, mm. for sure, the new techniques, but also um, you find out now that the French chef use a lot of uh, foreigners' products, so they fusion a lot yeah. of products. So, of course, to, to stay trendy and to have a nice uh, program, mm. we'll use these techniques of dashi, if we need to use a dashi, uh, using yuzu and mm. uh, all these kind of product, like maple French syrup. chef, <laughs> or maple syrup also yeah. from... You well have to adapt. We are apples because yeah. our, our cooking has changed a lot since yeah. the last past 10 years. So now, uh, French chef, modern chef, Fre French chef, use these products, know these different techniques from mm. other cuisine. From but the basis may be French. Of course. Okay. The, touch, the final touch will be French. <laughs> <laughs> a question by Haidu. Do you have short courses for professionals? We do. We have an offer uh, of three to five day courses in English. Uh, for experienced chefs, uh, we can find that information on our on our website. On our website, okay. A question by ML. I want to open my restaurant. Do you have courses to help me with that included in this advanced program? That's a good question. There is a l uh, a couple of touches uh, about uh, what it means uh, about opening a restaurant, managing a restaurant, uh, but these programs do not focus on that. Um, uh, we focus more on the production and the, the technical side of, of, mm. of cooking. Okay. But we do uh, have in, in planning uh, a program on restaurant management for international students, uh, but that probably won't be happening soon. That will be a separate module. Okay. I would say, I would say that most, most people who come to Ferrandi come for the mm. The cooking skills. The cooking, and yes, yeah. cooking, cooking and pastry and bread baking okay. skills. Yeah. The business part is something else. Business part is something else. Okay. Yeah. A question by Ricky. Who will be the chef instructors? Okay, the team is made up of. I'll let you answer that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, in the international uh, department, we are chef. Uh, four chefs mm -hmm. will be running the program and also uh, we'll have a special guest chef, Michelin star experience or Meilleur Ouvrier de France to help us to finish the models. Uh, same in pastry, will be based on the same, uh, mm -hmm. the same, model. same model. So and it's not always the same chef. You will have one uh, instructor will be in charge of the program yeah. during the eight weeks. Uh, okay. And then he will, uh, will have 
uh, guest chef, as I okay. said, and Ferrandi chef also to to be part of the teachers of the program. Okay. So, uh, Marta um, wants to know if you know exactly how many hours the students will spend in the kitchen on lectures and on visits in total. Uh, if the language of the program uh, will be English or French, and uh, if it's French, if there will be an English translation. So, three questions in one. In one. The, uh, the hours, <laughs> the language, and okay. the translation. Uh, this is a 300-hour program. Uh, about 250 hours of which will be spent in the lab working with chefs mm -hmm. uh, producing dishes or cakes or pastries. So that's what she calls um, kitchen? Yes. Yeah. Um, again, that's, that's for Andy's strong point, uh, is providing training that is very, very lab or kitchen based. Um, the other 50 hours, there will be some conferences by experts that will be uh, an outing or two, uh, a visit to uh, a trendy restaurant. Um, but that's not uh, the main component mm -hmm. of the program. Um, in terms of language, um, there will be teaching directly in English, uh, but there will also be some chefs who will express themselves in French and who will be translated by another chef. Um, the idea is not to restrict, uh, to bring in the best talent. Uh, unfortunately, some of the best talent does not, is not comfortable uh, teaching fully in English. And the last question I forgot. <laughs> uh, if French, would there be an English translation? Yes, there will be a translation. Okay. A uh, question by Claudia. I think it's for you, Stefan. I bought your book, I Love Pastry. Do you have a session in 2020 for Advent? Yes. Yes, for now we only have dates uh, up for the launch of the programs in 2019. Uh, but obviously we will be uh, running them again in 2020. Okay. Uh, Paul wants to know, no, it's not Paul, it's Curious, mm -hmm. who wants to know what is Cuisine Fusion? Oh, well, I don't really like the term of uh, <laughs> fusion. Mm -hmm. I think it has been. Uh, it used to be like that a few years ago. But uh, What do you call it? Uh, it's just the way of mixing uh, foreigners' products, as I yeah. explained uh, previously. That's it. Uh, for me, it's not a... Uh, uh, fusion. Uh, it's, it's world uh, cuisine. Well, yeah. it's, well, it's more yeah. world cuisine than uh, fusion. And what is it? It's uh, just a mix of uh, techniques Different and uh, techniques products from all over the exactly, world. Exactly. Okay. Naomi UK uh, says she wants to apply and wants to know when she should send her application. Uh, we What's are the taking deadline? We're, we're taking applications right now. Uh, for the sessions that are organized between February and uh, July mm -hmm. of 2019. We recommend that people apply as soon as possible because, the, as we mentioned earlier, the classes are very small, uh, so we don't have a lot of spaces. Um, uh, and in all cases, before the end of the year, uh, just to, to make sure that there's still space available. So before December 31st, if... Um, Okay, <coughs> as soon as possible. As soon as possible. A question by Paul now. What kind of advanced techniques will I learn in this program? A uh, question for you. Yeah, in, in cuisine, I will say um, the program is built on the um, different modules, as I said. So we're going to just work on amuse-bouche, starters, uh, veggie also. Mm -hmm. A lot of strong part of veggie because... You, become very popular it's trend, right yeah. it's tr well, exactly uh, fish meat uh, also we work on the um, a full french menu from the start uh, mm -hmm. to, the, to the dessert also sometimes uh, and each time also we're going to use uh, modern techniques as vacuum uh, uh, low temperature oh. cooking uh, using siphon even if now it's become very popular but uh, using what siphon siphon okay so basically, uh, it's um, it's an advanced program, so it's a little bit higher than the basic one that we do. And I th yeah, I think in also contemporary plating. Also, uh, yeah. yeah, of course. Which is something that uh, mm. w we find people are very interested in yeah. working on plating and getting their and also figuring out their style. Mm. And table arts, yeah. Mm. Table arts, okay. Do you require English test proficiency? Question from Barry. By Barry. We do not absolutely require a test, uh, but we will test level of English during the interview. It's okay. important to be, you know, uh, 
uh, to be able to interact effectively uh, in English um, with different people, with your, your fellow students and your chefs. Uh, so we test the oral level of English uh, during the interview. But we don't require a test score, no. Okay. A, a question by uh, Shehin. I would like to be updated about these courses by advanced professional chefs and moths. I'm happy to take a course in French. Okay, well, we obviously have uh, an extensive offer of courses in French, um, as well as, as I mentioned earlier, training weeks, which are three to five day courses. Uh, and all of this information is available on our website. Uh, and we're happy to answer any questions individually uh, if you contact us by email. Okay, just m maybe a little word about MOF. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Meilleur Ouvrier de France. Mm -hmm. Can you please explain, uh, maybe for foreign people, what it's about? What does uh, it take to be a MOF? What does it give to be a MOF? Uh, it's, I in, a, in our field, it's um, the most... Uh, most qualified qualified level. Le level. It's a contest uh, uh, which has been created more than 100 years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, the final is next week actually in, in, cu in cuisine for the the, the 20. Uh, I think there are 20 in final. Uh, this contest is every four years and uh, give you the opportunity to wear the blue, white, red neck on your jacket. <laughs> and yeah. uh, it's a high level of recognition in the in the mil in a in a job. And, and you can cook for the president. Also, the, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the chef president is Meilleur Ouvrier de France. I don't know what you translate in English. Meilleur Ouvrier de France, oh. best French craftsman. Yeah. Uh, it's a contest that covers di many different fields. Yes. Uh, yeah, you can be more in uh, pastry or, or in hair cutting yeah. or in uh, plumbing, mm -hmm. uh, house painting. Yeah. Um, and it is uh, a, a recognition of a very uh, high level of technical uh, skills and knowledge. Um, uh, and so for, for, for a chef, it is uh, the ultimate uh, recognition of, yeah. their, of their talent. And we have the chance and in Ferrandi oh. to have four Meilleur Ouvrier de France uh, also in our team. So in which fields? Cuisine. Uh, cooking, cuisine. Yep. cooking and, and pastry. pastry. Cuisine and pastry. Mm -hmm. Okay, so best of the best. Mm -hmm. A question by Zing. I'm from Asia. I work for 10 years in Asian cuisine. Am I eligible? That we would have to discuss uh, just because we would want to make sure that this is the right choice for you. Mm -hmm. uh, if um, you've worked in with very specifically Asian techniques, uh, um, there might be some knowledge that you don't have about Western or French well, you, uh, need, you need to technique. learn the foundation first, mm. huh? yeah. because the French foundation is what all the foreigners come to, to learn in France uh, yeah. when they come to, to, to our school. It's because they want to learn this uh, foundation, huh? uh, making stock, cutting differently, uh, different Different techniques. cuts, different cooking oh, the, the butchering, the, the, the way of filleting fish. Uh, Sauces. Sauce. And so yeah. you need to have this uh, yeah, very knowledge different. before yeah. uh, applying to that. Uh, so she may be eligible, but you have to discuss uh, we have with to dig her into that a bit deeper. To exactly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, will there be exams during the program? No. Examinations? No. No. Uh, each program will end with um, a kind of creativity challenge mm -hmm. uh, where students will be able to create their own uh, recipe. Mm -hmm. um, but the idea is not to make this, uh, this is not an academic program. It's a program to develop creativity, to learn new skills, to get inspiration. Uh, yes. And it's not, uh, you know, to be the, the best in the classes. Yeah. So it's, uh, but you can evaluate their level uh, before of course, the, of course, before during the, the final program exam. We will, yeah. we will uh, see their, their progress also. And, and if uh, they have any difficulties, you can help in them. In this exercise also, they will have the opportunity to, to test their recipe and have advice from chef or Meilleur Ouvrier de France to increase their level and to improve their recipes. Okay, they're not on their own? Uh, no, 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 they are. A question by Mandy Maney. How many cuisine labs do you have in your school? We have oh, 20 labs in our parasite. Yeah. Uh, 
include pastry, baker, no, 20, 20, 20 kitchens, kitchens. Mm -hmm. 20 kitchen, yeah. and in Paris, eight, yes, mm -hmm. and eight pastry labs and three bread baking labs and two training restaurants. We're a pretty big uh, school. I didn't talk much about Ferrandi for those uh, who who don't uh, know anything about us, but uh, again, Ferrandi was founded in 1920. Mm -hmm. uh, we have several sites, uh, but our main uh, site is located in Paris, uh, in the Saint-Germain-des-Prés neighborhood, between the Gare Montparnasse and Saint-Germain-des-Prés. Uh, 25,000 square meters of <coughs> space, um, with uh, 35 labs, two training restaurants, a library, uh, a cafeteria, uh, so it's a relatively big. We are uh, currently one of the largest uh, culinary institutes in Europe, uh, and we're the leading culinary mm -hmm. institute in France. Okay. A question by Oprah. You talk about photo shooting on your website. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me more? Yeah, well, obviously, culinary photography, uh, mm. with the explosion of social media, has become more yeah, and more Instagram popular, and Instagram, etc. So um, we thought it would be nice to um, uh, also work a little bit on that, on the styling and things like that. But that's not the focus of the program. But the idea is to uh, have each student leave with a souvenir book of what the group uh, has produced during the during the during the program so there will be at different times uh, a professional photographer who will come to uh, take pictures of the group in action but also of what they okay. what they produce that students don't learn culinary photo it's not it's another I mean, another job yeah. yes it's a diff very different um, very different field uh, obviously they will have to present their dish in a way that yeah. it's so there will be a little touch look of it. like uh, but that, nice yes but that's not the the main focus. Okay, a question by Hell's Kitchen. What are the models for the pastry program? Okay, the pastry program uh, includes different modules that are broken down into two uh, themes. Uh, a theme on boutique products and a theme on uh, party and festive products. Um, uh, there will be modules in plated desserts, there will be chocolate sculpture and chocolate bonbons, uh, modern viennoiserie, contemporary entremet, uh, petit four, uh, gâteau de voyage, uh, travel cakes, um, wedding cakes, uh, sugar decorations. Uh, it's a pretty comprehensive uh, program that mm -hmm. will aim to cover uh, pretty much all of the the main uh, topics in pastry. A question by me, what's a travel cake? A travel <laughs> cake, that's a good question. That's something that I learned. <laughs> a travel cake is... Um, a wedding cake, I see, but a travel cake? A travel cake, a tour de voyage, is a, a, a loaf cake or a pound cake, mm -hmm. kind of like a quatre quarts in, mm -hmm. in French, uh, that um, is uh, in the French tradition, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, is something that people can bring. Uh, oh, okay. As a guest in somebody's home, they can bring it's it's a it's a cake that travels well, okay, basically. Okay. Uh, so uh, as opposed not to a wedding a, cake. Uh, yeah, okay. no, not a wedding cake or not okay. a a cake with a lot of cream and okay. stuff in it. That, Something that solid and uh, okay, okay, I see. You say the campus is in France. Mm -hmm. Will I learn in Paris? Question by Sasuke. Will you learn French? Is that the question? No. no, I think no. she wants to know if she will live in Paris and ah, uh, yeah. be in Paris. And yes, uh, we are located in central Paris, uh, in a very nice neighborhood in the 6th arrondissement, mm. uh, with a lot of food-related businesses and uh, of places of interest uh, yeah. around. Yeah, so it's definitely a nice... Yeah, she will like it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm sure. <laughs> a question by Leo Rush. Will there be excursions during the program? Visits or um, yes, there are a couple of visits. Mm -hmm. Would you like mm -hmm. to address that yes. question, Chef? Um, in cuisine, we will visit the bigger uh, wholesale market, Rangis. Rangis, of yes. course. Uh, we'll meet producer also, but it's not a visit. But they will talk about uh, related to the product, and Rangis uh, will be the same. Uh, basically, we have an outing for the culinary students to. Um, 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 a table arts pr uh, producer, cera ah, yes. ceramics mm. company, oh. just to see the different types of 
containers or uh, table uh, mm -hmm. utensils that, that can be used. Uh, there will be uh, a couple of meals uh, outside, outside of the school, of the school yes. uh, but again, uh, it's a short program, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, and the idea is to focus on working in the and you have everything working in the, in the lab, and everything More is yeah. Eighty-five percent of the program will yeah. be at school. Okay. Yeah. A question by Patog: How many hours per day will I study? Seven. Seven. Yes. Okay, for everybody. Pretty much uh, seven to eight hours per day. Uh, Monday to Friday. Yeah. Uh, weekends are free, so they're free mm -hmm. to explore Paris or Europe. Evening also. Evenings are also mm -hmm. free. Yeah. Mm. Oh, they don't work in the evening. No, it will be. Uh, no. Never. It's uh, casual. Is from uh, eight thirty to four o'clock, something like that. Okay. Great. What are the different nationalities in the program? Ah, well, uh, it's a little bit too early to say uh, for this specific yeah. program, but. Uh, our students come from around the world. Uh, I would venture to say uh, uh, we have a lot of students from Asia, uh, yeah. India, China, Taiwan, Malaysia, Singapore. Um, so they know the French techniques. Yes. Yeah. Yes, because many many work in uh, in Western or European style uh, businesses that are already in Asia mm -hmm. or the big hotel chains. Um, I would say the second biggest group is North America, um, and then South America. Europe. Uh, you, yeah, Europe. Brazil. We have a lot of students yeah, from Brazil, Brazil yes. European. Uh, again, since we work in small groups, uh, each batch is a little bit different, but um, we yeah. have a good mix of, of nationalities. Okay. And French people? No, nope. not on this program. Mm -hmm. Not uh, at all. No. What? No. Uh, it's not the goal. Yeah, once in a while we have a French student who lives abroad and who would like yeah. to mm -hmm. learn with an international group. But it's, but, um, it's not the purpose of this, no. of this course. Okay. And what are the current trends in gastronomy? It's a question by Mary B. That's you. Yeah, you were, tendance, tendance, you were talking about yuzu, about ah. um, maple syrup. Ah. syrup. It's not an easy question. What's fashionable? <laughs> <laughs> um, um, and good. I think, well, if we're talking about Paris, uh, I think what's very trendy now is uh, individual chef restaurants uh, with their uh, own name. Right. Uh, Every chef has their own style also. You have mm. some people who's assembling more than cooking now, some yeah. chefs who are cooking more than assembling. Mm. So, and after. Uh, well, it depends also your your guess, the guess mm -hmm. that you have. Uh, it's not easy to answer. It's more no. like, uh, but more on plating that will be a um, more unique modern. or original, oh, personal uh, style of plating. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I think people are. Uh, this is. I think people are looking for mm, simpler ways of eating, mm. as opposed to very sophisticated settings. So, we see a lot of. Um, Again, smaller restaurants, 30 covers, mm -hmm. with a very personal touch by the chef. Uh, the restaurant might have his name. Yeah. Uh, also, people, uh, you can you see back uh, things to share. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah. that wasn't in our roots in, uh, in the French <laughs> cuisine. Okay, or cutting in front of the customer also can uh, make a strong comeback on the French cuisine, mm -hmm. where the waiters come also to be uh, an actor, a part of, mm -hmm. the, of, of, of the dinner, of the lunch. More yeah, okay. laid back service. Yeah, exactly, so. Mm. Okay. Uh, I mean, we will talk about all that and tell okay. them or even uh, practice that to, to show them, uh, to cover all these kind of uh, trends. Mm -hmm. But French gastronomy is still fashionable. I think so, yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean. We, s we still have a lot of demand for training, yeah? And do you have an alumni network? It's a question by Nayatin. We do have uh, an alumni network called Ferrandi Alumni. Yeah. Uh, that uh, is relatively strong. We have alumni around the world, uh, not only from our international programs, but also there's a lot of demand for French uh, chefs and French culinary skills abroad. So. Um, yeah, we have a very strong network uh, of, of contacts for people who are looking for opportunities after, yeah. after training in their home country or... Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and do they come for lectures sometimes? Sure. Or for courses? Or yeah, definitely. Um, we try to uh, call on our alumni as much as, as possible. Um, and there are obviously a lot uh, still so in Paris. So, also mm. to, sure. to bring them back in our school and to show them, to, to they show what they have learned and what they became to our students. That there's no better publicity than that, uh, I think. And how many people in this alumni network? It's very. I think uh, there's, I think there's fifteen thousand alumni over the years, probably more than so that. It's huge, uh, yeah. yeah, because a hundred years history. Uh, yeah. Uh, but the school has grown a lot, so I would say uh, um, I'm a little bit more certain. Uh, in terms of international alumni who come through our, our programs in English, we have about 1,500 uh, people across the globe. And then if we add the French alumni, it's uh, obviously a lot higher figure. And do you, pl do you plan to open schools um, in other places than Paris? Outside, outside of Paris yeah. or outside of France? Outside of Par in France, outside of Paris, or outside of France, we have uh, we do have one uh, site in Bordeaux where we run uh, our bachelor program. Um, Is it around wine or not no, especially? No, no, uh, no. Uh, we do. We are also uh, uh, on a project in Dijon, in the city of Dijon, mm -hmm. uh, to open a training facility for international programs. Uh, in the Cité de la Gastronomie, uh, which is supposed to uh, um, open in 2021. Mm -hmm. um, and as for, we have uh, considered opening branches abroad, uh, but for the time being, we do not have any, but it's something that we're definitely considering. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, Kiran studied three years in culinary. He has no professional experience and he wants to know if he can still apply. We prefer, on the advanced professional programs, we prefer to see people with some uh, professional exposure, yes. Um, so with only that information, I would say no, uh, but we can discuss. Not in this program? Not I think that uh, the intensive professional program would probably be, be a more appropriate choice. Okay, so um, I think you have answered all the questions. Wow. So, and uh, this live chat is also uh, coming to an end. So thanks to the participants for all the questions. Thanks to both of you for your time you. and maybe a little word to conclude. Yes, uh, thank you to all who participated in this live chat. We hope uh, that we've answered and clarified as many questions as possible uh, during these 45 minutes. But uh, obviously, if you have other questions, uh, if you would like more mm. specific information, uh, we are available to uh, answer you by email, by Facebook, uh, by Hangout. Uh, so please don't hesitate to contact us. Uh, we're happy to answer any, any inquiries about any aspect of these programs, but also for Andy, uh, that you may have. Okay. Uh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you very much to be there to with us today, and um, looking forward to see you in my labs, in our <laughs> labs, uh, in the future to to follow our programs in pastry or in cuisine. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, thanks to to both of you. Have a nice day. Thank, thank you. you.